Hello guys, welcome to another dorm room talk of me just sitting here in the chair. There'll be more than that in this video, but today I'm going to give you an update on the cut that I'm currently on. I'm cutting, if you didn't know. An update on that, I'm going to go through an in-body test I had, so I'll tell you guys my body fat percentage, and there might be another thing, I'm not sure. But to begin, let's go into the update on the cut. So to begin, I'll have progress pictures up here. Uh, the cut has been about one and a half months now. I'm one and a half months in. Um, I'm weighing in at 193 pounds, but I weigh myself tomorrow morning, so I'll be able to give you a better update then. But right now, 193 pounds-ish, and that's what I was last week. Um, so the progress pics will have been up here. But, so I've been taking those progress pictures once a month, the beginning of every single month, and I think I'm going to do that throughout the end. And I take another one weekly when I weigh myself. And I'm consuming, total calories I'm consuming is around 2,700 to 2,800-ish um, recently. Um, and if you factor in, some days I'm tracking. When I track, I'm always under 2,800 usually. And when I don't track, say I go home and it's hard to track a home-cooked meal, then I just guess and try to eat healthy so it kind of throws stuff off. So when I'm actually tracking, I'm closer to 2,600 lately, but like I said, it's countered with the non-tracking days. And yeah, total is 27, not 2,800 calories. So, beans, I'm one and a half months in, and my weight has been pretty um, consistent. It was 193.6, then the next week 193, so I want to be losing more weight, and I don't think I'm getting lean enough just by looking at myself. So I'm going to decrease my calories. I'm going to decrease it to probably 26 to 2700 on average. So if you factor in like eating home stuff. So when I'm here, 26, 2700 average, that's what I want calories. So I'm going to decrease it and we'll see how that goes. Um, if my weight's dropping too fast or I feel like I'm getting too lean or feeling too weak, then I'll slow down, maybe up the calories a little bit. But because my weight loss and fat loss has seemed rather slower than I would like, I'm going to decrease my calories just a tad. So from 2800, 27, 28, down to 26, 27, so about 100 to 200 calorie decrease. And that just might be because my body needs that, like I'm getting used to those calories. So I might have to do that. Next up, do I have a planned bulk block? So. Once I get to a point where I have to eat 24 to 2500 calories or even lower than that to continue losing body fat just because my body's been adapting to the low calories, once I get to that point where my metabolism is that low, I will go for three to four weeks in a bulk block where I'll increase my calories and just like a very slight lean bulk for like three to four weeks and just focus on putting on muscle. It'll feel nice, get my metabolism back up, uh, and then I'll go back into the cut and continue uh, kind of like a cycle of that. So yes, I will have a bulk block planned and I'll let you guys know when I'm doing that. If you want updates, I'm always more active on my Instagram which is linked down below. I always post story updates and stuff. Now let's get into my training. So training, right now my split is five days lifting, two days abs. So I'm training every day of the week, two days upper lower abs, upper, lower, pump day, abs. So that's what my training split looks like and on my ab days I will do cardio and some stretching of sorts. So the rep range, current rep range is, on the main lifts it is about five reps. So right now current rep range on the main lifts is five reps. So squat, doing three by five, bench three by five, deadlift three by five, overhead press three by five. And then all the other exercises are still in like anywhere from 8 to 12 in that range because I, I never really change up those much because it just seems weird to do 5 reps for tricep push downs. So on my big main lifts, which are the exercises I do right away, 5 rep range right now. Um, and if you want to train with me or know more about my current split, you can go check out my website. For 10 bucks a month, you can literally get my workouts that I'm doing. It's a pretty good deal, honestly, because I update it monthly. You can train with me, um, whether you want to bulk or cut, it doesn't matter. You can The training just, it depends on how much calories you eat. So if you're eating more calories, you'll end up putting on muscle. If you're not, you'll end up leaning out, and you could do both at the same time. So 
if you want to train with me, check out Workout with Grant, which is on my website, linked in the description down below, grantjohnsonfitness.com. Check out the programs on there. All right, ladies and gents, I'm now going to go do some laundry at Avery's house because it's expensive here. Before we get into the next part, we might get this special part when I go over to Avery's, but I'm doing that because I have so much laundry. This is one bag, and I still have more laundry in there. Like, it's incredibly full, and I'm going to make two trips on the moped. It's kind of cold out, but warm enough where the moped's out, so I'm going to try it. All right. It's happening, the mustache is going to be shaven. I told you we had a surprise here at Avery's and this is a surprise. It's time for my mustache to go bye-bye. It was, it was good while it lasted, but we're gonna shave it. <laughs> okay, so I forgot my electric razor and we just have my normal razor blade, so it might be kind of a pain to shave, but this is a good here we go. Okay, we're gonna start from the middle. No turning back. I'm gonna have to make like multiple passes to make it like not hurt me. <laughs> the first time I shaved his mustache was last year and I totally um didn't wipe off the like razor after every time, so it was a struggle. Oh really? Yeah. I don't even remember that. Then you were like, you know, oh, you gotta wipe it off. Rinse it off, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna finish it myself. It's almost done. And there it is. The mustache is gone. <laughs> I look like a little kid. At least I feel like I look a lot younger. Let me know if I look like a little kid. And also comment down below, do you think I look better with the stash or without the stash? I have a feeling all the boys are gonna say stash for sure, but yeah, the stash is gone. End of an era, until next time. All right, ladies and gents, it is shaved Grant back here, baby face Grant. Um, we're gonna go through my in-body test. So I went to Anytime Fitness here in Brookings and I paid 10 bucks to step onto their in-body scale and see what my body fat percentage was. Basically, that's my whole goal, weight and body fat percentage. So that's kind of all I wanted to do. And I'll probably do it again at the end of my cut to see where I'm at then. But without further ado, let's get into it. I'll have a picture up on the screen here. So if you look at the top, it says my height, 5'11", age 19, gender male. And then the first pink underline, that's my body fat mass. So it's saying I have about 21 pounds of body fat. And then below that, my weight, total weight, 196.8 on the day that I went. And this was shortly after spring break, so it makes sense that I was kind of hefty because <laughs> I gained some weight over spring break. And then if you go to the pink mark to the right of that, it says lean body mass. So that means 176 pounds of my body is uh, like lean, not fat. Then below that, my basal metabolic rate. So I think that means... Without doing anything, my metabolism is 2,094 calories without doing anything. So like the other calories is from me, like my body walking or working out. And then in the middle of the page, uh, that pink underline is my skeletal muscle mass. So 102 pounds of my body weight is my bones. So 102 pounds is my bones. Uh, and the rest would be water, blood, muscle, tissue, the rest. And then at the bottom, I have my BMI uh, is 27.5, to be honest. I don't really know what a BMI even is. I know, I know I've heard about it, but it's not very useful when it comes to, like, my fitness because I think I have a – if you have a lot of muscle, you have a high BMI because you'll weigh more. Um, I think it's more useful for doctors just to, like, give an overall, oh, you could probably change this, like, to tell somebody's obese. 
but not important for me necessarily. Then below that, the thing everybody's been wanting to see, personal body fat percentage. And that is 10.6%. That's where my body fat percentage was. I think this was a couple weeks ago when I did this. So 10.6% when I did the body fat percentage. Then we go to the next page. This will be on the screen. You can compare my muscle in pounds percentage um, from my right and left arm, left leg, right leg, and my trunk. So if you look at the top left, it says left arm. 10.78 pounds, right arm is 11.11, .11, and then 134.8%, and then 138.8%. So my right arm is definitely stronger than my left, but it's not like super bad, but like you can't tell looking that easily, but it definitely is, and I, I knew this. I'm a right-handed person, so it makes sense, um, but I could do more unilateral dumbbell work to kind of counteract that. And then my trunk is 78.1 pounds. Left leg, 24.52 pounds. Right leg, 24.78, and that's 110.2 and 111.4. So pretty close on the legs. I'm pretty, I'm happy with that. I still could balance it out. My whole right side makes sense that it is stronger. And then you go to the bottom. There's my weight again, 196.8 at that time. It's closer to 193 now, and I weigh myself tomorrow morning. Um, skeletal muscle mass 102 pounds personal body fat 10.6% so I am at 10.6% body fat I'm excited to see where we are at the end of the cut hopefully it's a lot lower than that <laughs> and hopefully you can see my ass and stuff but that's the in body test um, I'll go find my old I took an in body test the fall of my senior year of high school so that would have been over a year ago and I'll see what my body fat was then and like put that on the screen too all right, so I found my old results. So this is from October 14th, 2019. I was 5'11". I was 17 years old at the time, so two years younger. Um, total weight was, well, let's look at the bottom, basically. The total weight, 187.6 pounds, 96.1 pounds muscle, skeletal muscle mass, and then personal body fat, 10.9. So not a huge difference, and I remember how lean I was then, so it was pretty close to what I am now at the start of my cut so in case you're wondering that's how I've changed over the years and that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed if you have any questions comments concerns as always DM me on Instagram which is linked down below in the description or comment down below I reply to everything I appreciate your guys support check out the website check out my TikTok, my Instagram I love you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video Thank you.